Hello guys, I am back and today I will teach you how to overclock your iPod Touch iPhone 4G. Now, for those of you who don't know, overclocking is speeding up your iPod. Let me explain to you some quick things. So, overclock that your iPod has a max limit of processing power, right? But Apple has only tested it up to so far. They haven't tested out the full potential of the processor. So overclocking does is make your iPod think that, well, that limit isn't there. So it speeds up all the way to the maximum limit. This may harm your device if you do it wrong. So make sure you do this right. Right. Okay, first step. That was sad, right? I was just using my phone. My phone is like background thing. Yeah, that's pretty. So, um, first step. What you want to do is that's kind of boring now, right? Because you can't see anything here. You can look at this. There you go. First step is to step one. Make sure you have a jailbroken iPhone and iPod Touch. You can Google search that. Using an SSH tool like File, FileZilla or CyberDuck, navigate to system slash library slash system slash system configuration slash power management dot bundle slash. Rename file. Uh, uh, sorry. Rename file. Uh, this is step three. Rename the file com dot apple dot system power profile default dot p l i s t uh hold on here you can hold on uh hold on hold on guys I'm just gonna show you the file hold on uh, patience 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 is the key to survival of life ish I have it all typed out here too as you can see, then do that thingy, other thing. Reboot your iPhone and iPod Touch. Then it will run on the native processor clocks. This is an important message. Increasing the clock speed would degrade the CPU's lifespan. However, the device is not designed to handle the heat generated at higher clocks. We, I recommend you... To terminate apps if device appears to overheat. Keep a close eye on the temperature to avoid the issues. Remember, doing this will void your warranty. So do it at your own risk. But if your eye touch seems to lag, this is good for you. So, just to recap, do that SSH thing into your computer. Use CyberDuck or some FileZilla or something. Go to. Hold on, guys. Go to. System library system system configuration power management bundle and rename it to something your iPod doesn't recognize. So thank you for visiting overclocking tutorials.